happy Sunday, everyone. I am glad to be back here with you talking about wellness. And I'm gonna just lean back and chill. I have my Moomoo on, you guys, I call this my Moomoo. So it's actually like a tube jumpsuit. So today I wanna to talk a little bit about mental health. It's a new year, as we all know. And we may have different goals. I, for one, absolutely have goals. They could be concrete goals for you. For me, it's uh, I need help with time management. I have a lot of things going on in my life and it tends to overwhelm me. I really need to get myself on a schedule. You know what's bad when your 17 year old tells me that? She's like, mom, you've got to get a schedule for yourself. It's not always easy for you to see. When something looks like a mountain to you, you may need assistance to help you reach those goals. I want to talk to you about mental health therapy and I think there's nothing wrong with it. I myself had at a point in my life um, seeked out a therapist because I do have, and you guys will be, may or may not be shocked to hear this, but I do have general generalized anxiety disorder, I believe. I'm an anxious person. I get nervous. I have certain triggers. It's gotten better, believe it or not, but I feel like back when I really needed help with it was uh, when I had really small children because I felt overwhelmed with caretaking. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, seeking out a therapy is fantastic. I commend anyone who does that and for admitting that you need to do it. Now, sometimes it's hard just to pick up the phone, make a phone call, park your car. And these are things that I experienced. Walk into the building. I felt like, is someone watching me? Am I being judged? You know, is the secretary of the office wondering what's wrong with me? So sometimes, you know, those little things can prevent you from seeking out help, but I have a solution for that, you guys. And today's video is sponsored by a company called Better Help, and that is the solution right there. Better Help is an online therapy company. You can go through their app where you can do messaging with a therapist. You are matched with a therapist and typically, not always, but typically with once you fill out their survey, their online survey that where they ask you different questions about what you're looking for, what kind of assistance you like, you are matched within, in most cases, 48 hours with a therapist and you can set up appointments at your convenience, you guys. I actually worked with someone I know that would go to her car on lunch break and have her therapy sessions right there, which is great. When you work 40 plus hours a week, it's hard to squeeze another appointment in. So something like that uh, definitely helps with time management. You can do, like I said, the video chats. They have over, and I'm reading my notes, I'm not gonna lie, over 30,000 therapists in their network, you guys. So you will definitely be matched with someone and the nice thing too is if you find that your therapist is not a great fit, which, you know, it could happen, you don't have to worry about like the breaking up with your therapist. It's almost like a hairdresser, like, oh, I'm not going there anymore. And you don't want to bump into them. You don't have to worry about that. It's literally the click of a button and you can switch therapists. So that's fantastic. So the nice thing for this whole thing is that I do have a link down in the description box below beneath this video for the BetterHelp website. And if you use my link, your first month of therapy will be 10% off. So that's fantastic. And I really encourage you guys to check that out. There's nothing shameful about seeking out a therapist. I told you I had to do it at one point in my life and I really found it beneficial. And some of the things I learned, I still take with me to this day. In fact, I can tell you um, meditation was something that the therapist helped me with and it has been a real help all these years. And that was years ago. Uh, sometimes if I can't fall back to sleep at night, I do the meditation and I'm right back to sleep. There are so many different ways that therapy can help you and help you succeed in life and get those goals that you want to attain. And they can help you with, and I found this to be interesting, something called SMART. It's basically an acronym. So S stands for specific, then measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. I feel like ideas sometimes can be like fantasies, but when you follow that SMART, pattern, they turn into actual goals that are attainable. That's what the A is, attainable. All right, you guys, that was some serious talk for us. But I do, you know, in letting you know that I do have um, anxiety and it doesn't rule my life anymore, thank goodness. If it did, I'd be right back in speaking with a therapist. I know my triggers. I mentioned that earlier. So I do know my triggers and one of my triggers is clutter. I don't know why, but I think it might be a little bit of a control thing. Like if I can control my surroundings, the things that are making me anxious that I can't control feel a little less anxious. Does that make sense? So getting back to the clutter, you guys, my makeup is a mess and I keep looking at it and walking by and looking at it and walking by. And every time I look at it, I get more and more anxious. 
So I brought out something and I'm going to insert a picture. I'm looking at it right now. That's been bugging me. It's like this little portable cart. I got it when I first started doing makeup videos so I could bring makeup out into my bedroom and sit at this vanity and do makeup for you guys. It's become overwhelming. And guess what else, you guys? I just signed up for another subscription for high-end makeup so I can bring you more stuff. Anyway, let's organize this together. You can watch me get organized and maybe that will motivate you guys to organize something in your home or make a change for the better for something that's been bothering you. It could be cleaning, it could be organizing, it could be starting an exercise program, whatever it is that you want to do that's a goal of yours, that's, um, let's say it again, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. Hopefully I can help motivate you because I'm gonna tackle this thing right now and you guys are gonna come with me. All right, you guys, I'm about to get started here and look what I did. I separated, I took out all of the eyeshadow palettes first. I'm like, let me get see what I have here. I have three stacks. Three stacks, let me lift this one up so you guys can see. These are all eyeshadow palettes. Some might be blush or bronzer palettes, but palettes upon palettes upon palettes. And a lot of them are really old from when I used to subscribe to that cosmetics company. All right, let's go through them together, shall we? Okay, this one is cute, it's called Moods. You can see that it's got colors that your girl does not wear. And when the plastic's on here, that tells you I never used it or dabbled in it. I, you know what I get in my head? I'm like, oh, well, what if my girls want to dress up for something for Halloween? I have to have these colors. No, you don't. Garbage. Next. <laughs> this palette I always loved because it's called Miami. And it's got those cute colors. Now, I think that I've used a couple of these colors a few times. I definitely like the sparkly part for, you know, that part where I put a little sparkle. So this is going to go into the maybe pile. My goal is to get rid of 50% of this makeup. All right, next up is by Makeup Revolution. I never use this one. I love the colors, but I think I was not happy with the makeup itself, so trash. And this one, you guys, is almost gone. I've hit pan on two of the little circles here. This is a bronzer, but it's shimmery. I don't want shimmer you know, on my cheeks, so this is a no. This one's new. This one is by ColourPop. I love this palette. And this one I got from Alta. Look at those pretty colors. Let me know in the comments if you want the link. I, I'll send it to you or I'll put it in the comments. I'm not going to link any of this stuff unless someone asks. I have no problem if you ask, but I don't want to go through all that when you guys are probably like, no, Liz, we don't really care. All right. So next up is a blush duo. That's really pretty, but do you guys think it's too bright for me? I can't tell. Maybe it is. Let's just put some on. Why not? Right? I'm not going anywhere. What do you guys think? See, now you know what's going to happen. I'm going to fall in love <laughs> with this stuff all over again. That's kind of pretty. Okay, you could stay. You can live here. Okay, and then for ColourPop, I also have this quartz one, which is really pretty. Love those um, pretty neutrals, the grays and browns, you guys, or taupes. You guys know I love those, so that's new. We're keeping that. This is called Fireside. The only color I ever use really is that brown, but I kind of have it in the other palette, so I'm forcing myself to get rid of that. This one came in my FabFitFun box, and I especially love the glitters, so this is fairly new. Keeping this one, it's called The Chosen Bun. Love all that. Um, this one has been well-loved, but you guys, these things are old, and I don't think you can keep eyeshadow for very long, but look how pretty those colors are. I love that one, that one. See, I have to keep it. I know, it's terrible. Okay, you guys know I love this. You guys remember the All Star palette from Walmart? It's one of my favorite palettes. I saw this girl on YouTube who does videos say, oh, I never used that, I'm throwing it out. I'm like, what, that's my favorite palette. But she was also, she had like Valentino makeup, so who am I? <laughs> okay, more earth tones, very pretty. Had it forever gotta get rid of it. I have to say no to some stuff, you guys. I have to. Okay, this one takes up a ton of room. It's really pretty colors, but I literally only use one color. I use that orange color. Is it worth keeping the whole thing for that orange color? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to put in the maybe pile. All right, and then I have this one, which I do love all the colors, but again, it's old. And don't you feel like you're seeing some dupes? I feel like we are. So I'm going to toss that one. It's really hard for me to do this. I'm doing it quickly only because you guys are here, but it's kind of hard. This one, 
is falling apart at the seams. It's messy. It's got all the colors I love, but I'm here to tell you, it kind of has a little like kick, like the dust from these kind of gets on your face. Like I, it's, it's, it's not my favorite for that reason. It's just kind of like, it gets all down my face. So that one's probably gonna go. And then I have these two fantasy palettes. There's this one. I do like these. These are from Amazon. Now, why did I buy this one, you guys? What am I doing with that? I know why I bought it. There was a YouTuber that I was watching and she was bragging about it. But never, ever, ever will I be using those colors. And I'm not gonna hang on to them in case my teenagers have a Halloween costume that requires a fuchsia eyeshadow. No, Liz, getting rid of it. Now I'm getting mad. All right, so, all right, I, I got a few, a few are gone. Okay, what else do I have in here? Okay, this I use at least once a week. It's the Ordinary Acid Peel. You guys would love that. This one I recently bought, it's Peter Thomas Roth, and it really plumps up your skin before you put makeup on. Here's the box, it's called Water Drench. You guys ever hear of this? You can get it at Ulta and it's fantastic. Now, I got it at half off, I think. It was like 20 something dollars. It's normally in the 50s, like 54, or $55. It's great, but I can tell you that um, you can also use Neutrogena. I'll put a picture. It's for the body, but you can put it on your face. If you guys are OGs and have been here for a long time, you know I've told you guys that little secret. And that one's like $10. So I would tell you to purchase that. I put it on my skin when I come out of the shower. Then I put my sunscreen on and then I put makeup on. And it really does smooth out wrinkles. Both of these items, this one and the one I just showed you, have hyaluronic acid in them, and that plumps up your skin by moisturizing it so well. It's, you know, a transient plump up, meaning you have to use it and be using it for that to happen. And when you wipe it off, it goes away, but it looks great under makeup, so that's a little trick. Love that. All right, you guys, look at these. These are coming up. So I got these from Alta. These are going to come up soon. Once I think these come off, they're kind of like a French manicure with a little kind of like a um, purpley pink tip there. Love those. Those aren't going anywhere. Um, okay. I need to clean out the little bins that are in here. Here is, totally forgot I had this one. Here's a little Milani palette. If I forgot I have it, that means I haven't used it. Let's say goodbye to this one. I know you guys are probably like, what the heck, Liz? But okay, here's another thing. A dermaplane kit that my daughter got me for Christmas. You guys know what dermaplaning is? It's like a really sharp razor that you can kind of self-exfoliate with. It's dusty. Do you see the dust flying around? I need to open it up and use that. Um, here are some mistake lashes I got on Amazon. <laughs> We're not ever going to wear these. I'm probably going to get rid of those. I'm not into those kind of lashes, you guys. That was a misrepresentation on Amazon, I do have to say. Okay, and these are some nails, which are adorable, I will keep these. For Christmas, that I believe I got from Shein, that I never got a chance to put. Another round of lashes that were a fail. I need to toss these. These ones look like, they were, they're really subtle. They're supposed to be cute and look like lash extensions. That was kind of what I was going for. They did not work out that way, so I'm saying goodbye to those. Another pair of lashes that are just too much for me. I'm gonna say goodbye to those. Why have I not used this? Okay, these I'm definitely keeping, and I'm not sure. See, they're probably because they were buried. Check that out, you guys. They're not bad. I don't know what I was doing with the top. I think I, I cut mine usually, so I was playing around. But if you look there, I have at least four pairs of lashes. So there you go. Okay, I have an old facial cleanser. No toss that's gone. Guys, it's not good. I'm going to show it to you. And by the way, I need to get a rag and a bucket and clean the whole thing up. Here, this is uh, Il Maquillage makeup or eyeshadow. I've not worn this. This came in one of my bags probably three years ago, you guys, if I'm being honest. I know, gross. All right, give me one second. I don't want to keep you hanging out. I'm going to organize myself and turn the camera around so you can see where I've gotten so far. All right, you guys, here is not the finished product, but everything cleaned out now. 
I need to get some contact paper or something to line the little baskets because they're kind of damaged. I mean, I've had this thing, I want to say at least four years and you know how messy makeup can be. So I am going to show you, I did clean out these little like bin things that I have, these things right here, but you guys look, that's as clean as it's going to be. I don't care. I'm putting them back in here and we'll load the makeup back in there. So that's just how it goes for that kind of stuff. Check out the desk that I was sitting at. <laughs> I am going to go sit back down and show you how I'm going to organize everything. All right, you guys. So I'm back in the saddle here and I'm just loading stuff up, um, putting things I don't really use so much at the bottom. And then I will show you anything. This is my self tanning kit. I keep everything in here. At one point, Coco and Eve sponsored me and I did a really cute video. I have it still. Um, and my routine has not changed, but I still kept the bag and the mitt and all that stuff. And though, even though I don't always use Coco and Eve, I always keep all my tanning stuff in here and I carry this with me when I travel, which I never figured out. It took me years to figure that out. Like my tan would fade while I was on vacation. And then I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just bring it with me. Yes, bring this with you. So I'm going to continue to load this stuff up. And oh, and I wanted to tell you guys, I found more palettes because I cleaned, out, cleaned it out entirely. Found this one. Uh, I don't like any of those colors anymore. I found this one. I would not wear any of those. They probably wouldn't even show up. And I also found this one. Who's wearing, and you could tell the plastic, I did not really use this one. So not keeping any of these. Let's try this on, what the heck? Let me see, now this one color in the middle, I just tried that one, looks pretty. Does it really though? It's a really good thing I'm not going anywhere today. Can't even really see it. See that? I feel like it's old, can't see it. Now I have to do the other side. Do you guys even notice that? Oh, I see it a little bit now. That's kind of pretty. But again, I find myself keeping these palettes just because I like one of the colors. And then I've got these giant palettes. Anyone else do that? These giant palettes. But I only really like the one color that I used. So, but now I really like it. <laughs> Do you see how we become a background? Oh my goodness. All right. And then what else? Oh, and another one. This one, which I do like that one. And see, I forgot I had it. So maybe I'll make a little section for pellets. And then when I see how many will fit in one of the trays, if I have to get rid of some, I will. Let me do that and I'll come right back and then we'll finish up the video. All right, you guys, here is the final look. So I cleaned out all the palettes. That is what I was left with. Not too bad. I would say that's 50% for sure. You can see the garbage is loaded here to take that out. And then these are things I use on a daily basis. By the way, this is my latest and greatest foundation. It's by Polite Society. It's called More Than a Pretty Face Skin Caring Foundation. I wear it in medium neutral. I absolutely love it. That I got um, from one of my favorite YouTubers, Risa Does Makeup. And then here is all the other stuff organized. Again, I used one of the little containers, one, one up here. Actually, two down here. I didn't see that one there. So everything is organized. There it all is, you guys. I feel much, much better. Now I know things that I have. By the way, I found this powder, and I'm completely out. It's already tossed in the can. I would have used this had I known I had it. So there you go as well as those eyelashes. So I found a couple things that makes me happy and it really and truly does give me less anxiety. All right, I'll be right back. Hey right, guys, I am back. I got to look in the mirror without the ring light on and everything is very bright. Let's see if you guys can get a look at that. Um, well, you can't really tell, but take my word for it. When I leaned in for it, I'm like, whoa, that stuff's bright. So I'm happy with cleaning that out. And one thing I wanted to mention before I go is no matter what you're doing to improve your mental health and well-being or your life or trying to tackle your goals, whatever it is, baby steps are always the way to go, you guys. Honestly, when I was first planning today's video, I said, I am going to clean out all of my makeup with them. I It's a mess and they, they need to see me organizing myself because that's one of my goals. And then I started to get anxious because I had that as the idea for this video. And then later on, I said, no one wants to see you. I've got volumes more makeup in there. I don't know if I mentioned that. Like our regular like vanity that has our double sinks and stuff. I've got all the drawers. They're all mine and they're all loaded. Then I have a mirrored cabinet also loaded and it's all makeup. So my point is, I overwhelmed myself immediately by thinking I was going to take on this huge task. 
and clean out all of my makeup with you guys on video today. It would have taken me forever and you guys would have been bored. Hopefully this was quick enough where it wasn't too boring and hopefully it motivated you. But anyway, back to my original point. Take something small, tackle it, and you will be amazed how much better you feel getting toward whatever goal it is. For me, it's getting organized. So I feel really good. And this is in my like bathroom slash closet area of my bedroom. I walk by it constantly. And every time I walked by it, I was like, oh, I've got to clean that out. It was dusty, dirty. I knew it was a mess, had old makeup in it. So now when I walk by it, I'm going to think of all of you and know that I'm taking baby steps towards my goals of getting organized. So comment below and let me know, is there something that you guys want to do in 2024? Uh, some small goals. And honestly, when I say small, they could be small. If you're not someone who exercises and you want to start, are you taking one walk a week? Are you taking two walks a week or slowly building? What is it that you want to change? Someone recently in my comments mentioned something about wanting to eat healthy and didn't know where to start. And I have not yet responded to that comment, but my advice to you, if you're watching, or to anyone who's thinking that, is to get a book or watch a YouTube channel that is dedicated to that. Um, if I think of anything like that, I will put it down in the description box below because health and nutrition is so important. That is the one thing that you can control, the nutrition portion of health, lifestyle. Those are things you can control, mental health as well. I recently read something, I think it was in the thyroid book, stress, uncontrolled stress, completely can wipe out your immunity. And that is the last thing you want at any age. So keep all of this in mind. Don't get overwhelmed, baby steps, write your goals down, decide what small steps you can take to finally get there and reach your goals. And if you need assistance with that or any other area in your life, go on BetterHelp. My link is going to be below. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring the first portion of the video today and for giving me the idea to discuss mental health because it absolutely does affect overall wellness, physical and mental. Again, let me know in the comments below what goals you have and what steps you are taking. And if you want to start a whole discussion on this, let's do that. So let me know what else you guys want to see in this wellness series. I've got quite a few ideas so far, but I'm always curious to see what you all think. And if you did like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and helps other people to find me. And if you've not already, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications. That way you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. I hope you all have a great Sunday and a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye everyone.